Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Let me ask you guys a question. Where do we go for the absolutely worst takes on the news cycle or the political world? And no, the answer is not AOC's Twitter feed or AOC's Instagram or TikTok account. The answer is ABC's The View. Now, as much as I criticize the ladies of The View, I gotta say that at the end of the day, I really appreciate and love them because frankly, they're just a content machine. It's never ending. Ending. If ever you're a political YouTuber and there's a little bit of a content drought, not that much going on in the news cycle, you just go on Twitter and type in The View, sort by latest, and you're surely to find something absolutely ridiculous or completely stupid. And well, folks, today is another one of those days. As Democrats continue to struggle very deeply to cope with the fact that they're losing minority votes, specifically the Hispanic vote or the Latino vote, the more they realize, based on the demographics, that electoral trouble is right around the corner, the more they're lashing out. That's pretty much the topic of today's video, the ladies at The View can't cope with the fact that Republicans are winning Latino votes and can't cope with the fact that Latinos would think or vote differently than them. Let me show you guys exactly what's going on here. Let's cover the terrible take and the faux outrage. We've got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so let's take a look at what the ladies at The View are saying when it comes to Hispanic Floridians who are switching parties and voting Republican because of anti-communist and anti-socialist rhetoric coming from Republicans, notably this time Ron DeSantis. Mm -hmm. to get here and Republicans talk every day against communism and against socialism and yet they have no conscience and no qualms about using victims of communism and socialism as political pawns and a political stunt right. to get them the base out mm -hmm. that is inhumane it is unconscionable it is heartless it is cruel and I'll tell you what it is not it is not Christian so for all of those Republicans <laughs> including Ron DeSantis, telling me he is putting on his armor of God. How dare you bring up Christian values? How dare you go against communism and use these victims of communism for your political gain? Well, that's what's so interesting to me, that there are so many um, Latinos that vote Republican because they vote against their own self-interest. If you really are interested in these types of issues, mm -hmm. then you're a Democrat. But that being said... Okay, friends, so there's a whole lot to unpack here. First off, let me fill you guys in on the context. What Anna Navarro and the rest of the ladies at The View are outraged over is this speech from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Uh, I reject socialism outright. I reject, I reject uh, Marxism, Leninism, communism, any of these isms that have come out of, of a political theory that basically uh, denies the worth of each and every individual, denies people's aspirations uh, to reach for the stars, uh, denies the fact that we have inherent God-given rights. Anna Navarro finds it disgusting. How dare evil fascist Ron DeSantis take a hardline stance against communism? And their view is that he's taking advantage of Venezuelans and Cubans who live through the horrors of communism in a cynical plot to pander and gain their votes. What an absolutely stupid take. The problem here is that Democrats, and Anna Navarro is in fact a Democrat, I don't care how many times she tells us that she's a Republican, she is not, but the issue is with these elitist Democrats and mainstream establishment style politicians and political commentators is that they actually view everything as being cynical plots to pander rather than just organic stances. They think that Governor Ron DeSantis and Republicans are just using communism and socialism to trick people into voting for them, but that is simply not the case. It's simply not true. It's the actual conservative and Republican stance to be anti-communist. To be completely honest with you, that is essentially my political philosophy. When people ask me to define my stance, probably the best way that I could explain it is that I am actively anti-communist or anti-socialist, which essentially translates to anti-nanny state, anti-big government. I believe that people should be running their own lives and that governments shouldn't be taxing people into oblivion and controlling every aspect of society. That is essentially the fundamental stance of what it means to be a conservative, especially these days. The idea that Ron DeSantis is using communism as a political manipulation tool is just so utterly ridiculous, it's not even funny. And to be completely honest with you, right now the battle is free market capitalism versus a slow march towards socialism and communism. So yeah, obviously conservative rhetoric is going to be increasingly more anti-communist. I mean, when you have new up-and-coming Democrats winning primary elections across the country celebrating like this. Liz Crowley, she called, she conceded. <laughs> Beaches 
for a little later, but today we really proved that socialism wins. <laughs> Yeah, communism and socialism is going to start entering the political conversation. That's not a cynical tactic. That's an active threat. A threat to free society, individual rights and liberty. A threat to live and work and create wealth without an overbearing state crushing you into oblivion with overtaxation. So yes, the stance is anti-communist. And it just happens to be working. Because there's a whole lot of people, many of which are not Latinos, who have seen communism or big government control in action and they don't want to go anywhere near that. In fact, they probably emigrated to the United States in the first place to escape the big overbearing nanny state, to live a free life in the United States where individual rights are respected and where they and they themselves get to dictate their story and their future. It's not pandering specifically to Latinos. I mean, for Pete's sakes, I described myself as actively anti-socialist and anti-communist. I didn't develop my political viewpoints with Latino voters in mind. I just really don't like communism or communists. I think it's an evil ideology that leads to poverty, pain, and authoritarianism. And that is essentially all that Ron DeSantis is saying. In fact, that's probably his ethos as a governor. Over the last two years, the state governments and the federal government abused their emergency powers and destroyed people's lives. The state of Florida took an anti-communist stance and left the power in the hands of individuals. And that's probably what Latino voters in the state of Florida appreciate the most. People aren't being manipulated with cynical Republican talking points and rhetoric, invoking communism as a political pandering tool. They just want individual freedoms and lesser government, and Ron DeSantis is offering that. Not to mention, as they're having this conversation about how terrible what Ron DeSantis is saying, Sonny Hostin continues to be the bigot that she is, looking down on Latino voters, claiming that they're voting against their own self-interest by voting for Republicans. I mean, how absolutely bigoted and condescending is that? What she's essentially implying is that minority voters are particularly particularly Hispanic voters, are voting against their own interests and that they should vote for Democrats, they should vote for socialism, because their interest isn't in economic opportunity and prosperity and freedom to make their own decisions. Their interest is supposedly voting in a government that's going to subsidize their lives, control their lives, because apparently, I guess, based on Sonny Hostin's perspective, or the implication is that Latino voters can't provide for themselves, they need the state to subsidize their lives and take care of them. That's within their own interest interest. It's completely insulting. It's demeaning. It's bigoted. Latino voters are taking a hard line stance. They are telling you they do not need, they don't need government. All they want is equal opportunity and the ability to work and provide for their own families and to start their own businesses and to take their destiny in their own hands. And this idea that Latino voters are so dumb that you just mention communism as a political pandering tool and they'll just vote for you without even thinking is totally insulting and frankly stupid and this idea that if minority voters aren't supporting big government programs and Democrat Party socialism that they're not voting in their own interest is equally as insulting, dumb, and it's part of the reason why Latino voters are saying very simply, play the clip, bye, have a wonderful time, and they continue to be steadfast in their support of Governor Ron DeSantis and the Republican Party at increasing levels. These tone-deaf, out-of-touch, elitist Democrats just don't get it, and they probably never will. That's what I got for you guys, though. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, of course, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get back to work. Thanks for watching, friends, and I will see you on the next one.